What can you expect from Helldivers 2? Here's a drill down of what we know so far. Let's do a very short premise and then we'll dive straight in. Helldivers 2 is a third-person squad-based shooter in which you play the role of a Helldiver, a protector of Super Earth. Your purpose as a Helldiver in this dystopian universe is to protect Super Earth from its foes, which we will examine in a bit. In a four-man team, you will have to work together during intense and chaotic combat to complete different missions and objectives. It all starts at the war table on your ship's bridge, where you can access the galactic map. From here, you can get an overview of the war's progression, select your missions and see your orders. Super Earth High Command will communicate its orders to you in twofold. Major orders and personal orders. Major orders can be to liberate a number of planets and it will take the effort of the community as a whole to complete. The personal orders can be to kill specific enemies in a specific sequence. Something cool about personal orders is that your squad can contribute to your personal orders as well. So if their actions are related to whatever order you are carrying out at that time, they will count towards completion. Next we have operations, which are sets of missions on a planet. The higher the difficulty of the operation, the more missions it will contain. And last but not least, we get down to the missions themselves. Missions can contain a variety of primary and secondary objectives spread out over the map. These objectives can range from killing a specific enemy, destroying an enemy structure or from launching ballistic missiles to loading and firing artillery pieces. Helldivers is a game meant to be played and most fun in a team. You have to work together to make sure you can successfully complete the mission. To demonstrate how far this cooperation goes, some weapons require two-man handling such as the recoilless rifle. Even beyond the battlefield itself, the entire community of players will work together in liberating planets and sectors on the galactic map. Helldivers 2 will be simultaneously released for both PC and PlayStation and thanks to crossplay, which has been confirmed, players from both platforms can be mixed in teams. After selecting a mission and boarding your Hellpod, it's time to hit the battlefield where you will spend most of your time. So who are these foes that were mentioned earlier? There are two enemy factions, as far as we know now, the Terminates and the Automatons. They have their own background stories, but nothing major in terms of storytelling other than the fact that they all want Helldivers six feet under as fast as possible. Enemies come in a variety of ways, from foot soldiers to specialists to large hulks or tanks. Taking out specific types of enemies will require a certain tactic, depending on their armor thickness or sheer numbers. Now this is where stratagems will come of great use. Returning players will be familiar with the stratagem system. For new players, it's an arsenal of weapons and equipment such as orbital bombardments, bombing runs and automated gun emplacements that you can call down to assist you and your team in completing your missions. Something cool worth mentioning here is that called down equipment can be shared with anyone on your team. As you progress in the game, with the rewards you will earn by completing missions, you will be able to expand and improve your arsenal. Once on a battlefield, you can deploy these stratagems at will to try and overcome difficult situations or complete objectives. As you might have seen in the Bio Titan trailer, and if you haven't seen it, I will put up the links to various trailers in the description. Regular small arms fire won't always do the job, but a 500 pound bomb sure will. But be careful with where you deploy these stratagems because it's easy to kill your own squad members. I just keep fumbling over the word stratagems. I don't know. <laughs> Friendly fire is a reality at all times and part of the fun in Helldivers. There's no avoiding becoming the victim of your own squads doing every once in a while and sooner rather than later you will probably find yourself in the short end of a misplaced barrage. But no worries, this doesn't mean you're out of the fight until the end of the match because your team can call for reinforcements, in essence making you respawn but in a creative storytelling integrated way of having you return to the battlefield as a new Helldiver. You get 20 respawns at the start of a mission, which are shared amongst your team, after which, once you run out, they will be available on cooldown. So, now that we've taken a look at the general structure of how to get into combat, how about all the good stuff that applies to you? Aside from your standard issue gear, there's a lot of different gear but also stratagems to choose from, making sure that everyone can bring along a loadout that suits their own personal playstyle. There's room for a lot of customization here and how you want to approach a mission. 
What gear and stratagems you bring can mean the difference between victory or defeat. Unlocking new gear can be achieved with War Bonds. I will cover more details in a bit, but first let's finish looking at the other half of the customization options in the game, and that's your ship. From your ship's management menu, you can upgrade your ship and your stratagems. These upgrades are available from a certain player level and require either requisition points, earned through gameplay, or samples that can be found on the battlefield. How upgrading your destroyer itself works and what effect it specifically has remains to be seen, but for ship modules and stratagems, it's clear that you first need to unlock them by paying a certain cost, and then you can unlock ship modules that will enhance your stratagem's effectiveness or cooldowns. On top of the currencies needed for upgrades in these sections, of course you need some currencies for upgrading your gear as well, and this is done in the form of War Bonds. A War Bond is essentially a compilation of different gear with each item inside a War Bond being unlocked by spending medals. Every second Thursday of the month, a new Warband will be made available which you can purchase with Super Credits, which in turn can either be discovered at points of interest during missions or purchased through the in-game store. You will be able to preview the content of a Warband prior to spending Super Credits on them, which is in my opinion a good move by Arrowhead. Now one free Warband will be given to you upon release, and a premium one, called Steel Veterans, will be available straight away for purchasing for the cost of 1000 super credits. War Bonds are made up out of several pages, which need to be unlocked page by page, with each page costing you more medals. At this point in time, now there's no concrete information yet on how the cost of new War Bonds or pages will scale up. As you level up, I will get back on this as soon as I have been able to play the game after release. Also, Arrowhead has made a specific statement about deliberately having avoided creating a system where fear of missing out or FOMO will occur, effectively meaning that War Bonds are evergreen. You can take all the time you need to unlock them, meaning you don't have to beat some sort of availability time window to any specific War Bond and spend hours grinding trying to beat the clock. Again, a very good approach by Arrowhead. You can also choose different helmets and capes, but from what I can gather they don't seem to have any stats on them that impact your performance or resilience during missions. You can also choose different helmets and capes, but from what I can gather they don't seem to have any stats on them that impact your performance or resilience during a mission. Oh, and another thing happening after release will be Max. Similar to its predecessor, you will be able to control Max in Helldivers 2. The only footnote here is that they won't be available from the start, but will be added later on, as confirmed by Arrowhead. What do you think of the game so far? Let me know in the comments. I'm looking forward to spreading managed democracy to team up with you guys on the battlefield and share that cup of liberty afterwards. Now I hope this video has given you a good overview of what you can expect from the game. The hype is very real now and it's looking very promising, a ton of fun and a good appealing mix between the combat part and unlocking and upgrading all of your assets. Now I'll be making more videos on Helldivers 2 to hopefully bring in some more in-depth clarity on the gameplay mechanics. Be sure to let me know if you have any questions or requests. For now, thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye guys.